Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Is there a reason why dinosaurs command more than their fair share of attention when it comes to terrifying animals to have ever roamed the Earth? Well, these huge reptiles had a good run for about 200 million years, and admittedly, they were a force to be reckoned with. However, the prehistoric world was teeming with thousands, perhaps even millions of other creatures we may never get to see in the flesh, but were every bit as vicious and ferocious. Hello, and welcome to another episode of 100M, where we'll look at 10 animals you'll be glad are extinct. Number 10. Hallucigenia once upon a time, about 500 million years ago, a bizarre spiked misfit crawled the floors of the Cambrian Oceans. It was just a tiny creature, measuring no more than 3 inches long, but it looked every bit as scary as the large terrifying creatures you'll see later on this list. Their tubular form, plagued with rows of rigid spines along its back, scary legs that end in claws and freaky long jaws, made these tentacly critters fit for the soaring roles in any science fiction film. What's even more unnerving is that these ancient and bizarre earthworm-like creatures had really puzzled scientists trying to figure out which end had the head and which end had, you know, the opposite end. One end extended some distance beyond the legs, drooping downwards as if reaching for something on the ground. That must be the end with the head, but honestly, I really don't know. Number 9. Dunkleosteus now, here's a terrifying monster that will keep you awake at night. Quite frankly, it looks like the Grim Reaper of the Sea. Dunkleosteus had nothing to do with smiles. Its terrifying toothy grin was quite the fearsome sight to behold, and it was often the last thing most prey would see moments before their death. Their terrifyingly strong build alone would be enough to give them an unfair advantage over both prey and predators. They had well-armored steel-like bodies that made them look like a cross between a nightmarish monster and a tank. And to think that their nasty-looking, razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws could muster a bite force of 8,000 pounds per square inch. Boy, this thing could crush anything that went into its mouth. No way you can tell me that they wouldn't have enjoyed chomping into human flesh had it been served. Number 8. Megalania Tales of fire-breathing dragons probably came from the Megalania, thought to have been the largest monitor lizard to have ever crawled the Earth. They were giant guanas native to ancient Australia, only vanishing as recently as 50,000 years ago. The earliest aboriginal communities most likely encountered these 18-foot-long, 1,300-pound guanas. It's not likely, however, that the giant lizards attacked or ate early men. They were believed to have subsisted mostly on large animal groups like giant kangaroos and other mammals, which were valid prey choices for such large meat eaters. There was minimal competition for the position of apex predator, and perhaps only the large territorial crocodiles would have given the Megalania a run for their money in that regard. Still, their sheer sizes and large mouths lined with sharp serrated teeth, a long forked tongue oozing with bacteria-filled saliva, and very sharp claws accessorizing their muscular legs made these ancient lizards capable of causing serious damage in an attack. Number 7. Deinosuchus Expect a croc whose name translates to Terrible Crocodile to live up to its moniker. Deinosuchus was a massive crocodilian that lived about 80 million years ago. These ancient crocs generally looked like modern alligators with broad snouts and rather bulbous tips. Unlike present-day gators, however, Deinosuchus never stopped growing and would reach incredible sizes, more than 33 feet in length, perhaps even up to 60 feet. Just to put the size of this mega croc into perspective, salt Water crocodiles, which are reckoned to be the largest living crocodilians today, rarely grow past 14 feet. That makes these ancient megacrocs nearly twice as large as the salty. Being an opportunistic predator, the megacroc would ambush and submerge unwary prey wandering too close to the water edge. And thanks to their sheer sizes, powerful jaws, and menacingly sharp teeth, the Inosuchus were capable of taking down the mightiest dinosaurs to ever walk the earth, T Rexes. Number 6. Dire Wolf Real dire wolves were estimated to have averaged about 5 feet in length and weighing between 110 to 240 pounds. 
They were really, really powerful predators. And seeing as they hunted in packs, they must have been a real force to contend with. Some people will argue that the lone wolf, even if it be a dire wolf, would be at a disadvantage in most encounters with larger prey, or predators if they had any. Still, we cannot deny that dire wolves were bloodthirsty and ruthless killers. And although they have long gone extinct, their sight is still nightmare inducing. Number 5. Smilodon it's hard to smile when you have 7 inch long fangs hanging out from the side of your lower lips. Smilodon had proportionally longer front legs with shorter hind limbs and a rather muscular build overall. This morphology suggested that it was more of a stealth ambush predator than a formidable hunter. Still, they were some of the most feared predators of the time, preying on everything from large prehistoric herbivores to massive reptiles sharing their habitat. These things would have weighed as much as 900 pounds but mostly weighed between 300 to 600 pounds on average. Their sheer size, coupled with their menacing, dagger-like upper canine teeth, is enough to make anyone agree that they are better off remaining extinct. Number 4. Titanoboa these were super serpents, weighing as much as 2.5 tons and spanning an excess of 40 feet long. The largest snakes today are barely a third of their size. They hunted prey indiscriminately, but preferred to dine on larger mammals and reptiles. They killed their prey by crushing them, pretty much like what modern day constrictors do. With a constricting force of 400 pounds per square inch, they were able to squash and swallow whole giant crocodiles, alligators, and large turtles that shared their territory. As far as natural predators, titanoboas were indestructible once they reached their adult size. Number 3. Megalodon you guys have probably heard of this massive, terrifying shark about a thousand times by now. But our topic wouldn't make much sense if this giant prehistoric shark wasn't part of the list. Measuring up to 18 meters long and weighing more than 60 tons, the Meg was by far the biggest shark species to ever exist. It was the beefed up cousin of the Great White from 15 million years ago. A monster this size would have made more sense in the age of the dinosaurs, when its massive size would be proportional to the the potential size of prey in the form of massive marine reptiles such as mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. Sadly, the mighty megalodon missed the age of the dinosaurs by about 46 million years. And with dinosaurs out of the menu, the meg fed on great white sharks for breakfast and whales for dinner. Had human flesh been served, they'd definitely try it as well. Now it's time for today's best pick. We have a picture sent to us by a subscriber just like you. It shows a huge whale which was likely the apex predator even among apex predators. Want to find out more about it? Number 2. Leviathan this was an enormous prehistoric whale, almost as big as the Megalodon. Named after the biblical monster called Leviathan, this whale was definitely a behemoth. You don't want to behold the size of this creature in the flesh. This monstrosity of a sperm whale had its own strength going for it, enormous teeth and powerful jaw muscles that were adapted to capturing large and powerful prey. Leviathans hunted by striking fast from the bottom and slamming into unsuspecting prey from beneath. Their large mouths and teeth ripped through the flesh of smaller whales with ease, crushing their ribs and bones. They mostly snacked on other whales and even juvenile megalodons, with whom they shared the waters off the coast of Peru around 12 million years ago. Yeah, megalodons and leviathans likely crossed paths and probably even competed over prey or battled over territory. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Anomalocaris before super crocs, killer whales, and scary large sharks prowled the earth, scientists estimate that the world's top predator was probably a bizarre ancient sea creature called Anomalocaris. It lived at a time when all life was confined to the sea, more than half a billion years ago in the Cambrian period. Being the largest hunter at the time, it was at the top of the food chain. It used its large spiked arms to grab prey, biting them to death using its squarish, tooth-lined mouth. The Anomalocaris was 
terrifying, and its like has never been seen since. You can't really tell if it was a shrimp or a squid. Perhaps it was both, or neither at all. Yeah, it was that confusing. And pretty much all animals in the primordial sea took really bizarre shapes and forms that would have caused endless nightmares today. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like icon and leave a comment. Your engagement is what keeps us going. We have lots of fantastic videos that you will enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.